discussing about our relationship. Beautiful the situation. The joy of the whole herd is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her places for a refuge. Below the king were assembled, they passed together. They saw it, and so they marveled, they were troubled and tasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakfast, breakest, sorry, thou breakest the ships of the town, the town, 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 town with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks and consider her places that ye may tell it to the generation following. 14 and last. For this, God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. This is the word of God. Amen. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God.
because you care for us. Father, because you look after us. We declare there is no want. My God, we declare the enemy is a liar. When he sees that we are in sickness, when he sends sicknesses, when he sends problems, we declare that you are all our sufficiency. You it is, O oh Lord my God, who guides us. And like a shepherd, my God, when you see that we are weak, you put us upon your shoulder. evangelism, fellowship, and development for discipleship for the kingdom of God. We aim to inspire a love for Christ and a passion for righteousness. Through the word of God, we will equip and empower individuals 
to build and maintain strong families and healthy communities. Our focus at the heart of, is at the heart of our ministry is an unwavering faith in God, family, unity and fellowship with one another. Our mission is to glorify God in all that we do, grow individu individuals into disciples for God's kingdom. Our vision here at Greater Dimensions Church exists to be a holy spirit-filled house of worship, prayer and restoration. We are reaching with love, teaching to live and building to last. And on behalf of our lead pastor, leadership council and Greater Dimensions family, we welcome you to the place for greater. The place for greater where we are committed to restoring, loving and changing lives. We thank God for 
loving us. And sometimes I wonder, because sometimes you got family and family don't love one another. And let still Jesus love one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we break the covenant and walk out of it, but He still loves us. With an everlasting love. No man have greater love than this. That a man laid on in his life for his friend. Jesus, I call you not servant. But the servant does not know what his Lord doing. When you used to work in the factory, they used to say the white color union. They work upstairs. And we work on the ground grill. And sometimes they come and talk to you very well. And tomorrow, you hear them say the factory closed down. But thank God what Jesus hear from God. He revealed it unto us. Amen. Jesus don't keep the secret what his father did. He revealed it to us. So we have a right to bless the name of the Lord. And I know sometimes, as Paul writes, I think to Ephesians brethren, he say, Amen. The God of this world has blinded their mind. Lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine to give us the knowledge of Christ. Amen. Okay, before I get saved, I thought I was the best. Mm -hmm. Understand that? Mm -hmm. When somebody witnessed to me, say, You need Jesus in your life, I thought I was more righteous than them. But blessed be the man, God of Abraham. One night, Jesus came into my life Amen. and showed me that. Hallelujah. Amen. I will really know why. Because when you read the word of God, we are always dead, dead in trespasses and in sin. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus Christ came and rose us from the dead. And Paul writes in Ephesians 2, I think he said, Now you are quickened who are dead in trespasses and in sin. Now you come alive. Okay? Then he writes in the Galatians where he said, Stand fast in that liberty. Where Christ has made you free and does not go back and thank yourself again with the word. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So we serve a mighty God, a loving God. Amen. A God who cares. Amen. Hallelujah. Before Jesus came, God would take judgment. But Jesus said, I come not to destroy, but I come to seek and to save that which is lost. He gave his life that I might have. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. And today you, you, you will find people give blood to save somebody from death. Eh? If you run out of blood, your life are in your blood. Anytime you run out of blood, yes. amen, your life comes. But Jesus gave his life. Yes, Hallelujah. God Almighty. Sometimes I look and see the mystery of God. Amen. My wife, blood grew different from my wife. And if I need blood, I can't use your blood. But God Almighty, look at the billion and billion of people. And everybody uses the blood of Jesus. Right, God. And you know, sometimes we act like it's a different blood. You get and we get a different one. But it's one blood. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ's blood saved every one of us. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. We have a right to praise him. So that's why. Amen. The psalm right. Hallelujah. Great is our God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. The preacher was preaching said, man, and I said, he cannot be equal. There's nobody like him. Oh, hallelujah. And we hear men today serve, try to serve man and tell you that uh, if you don't go through that name, you can't see it. Let me tell you, my friend, that is a bunch of scrap. The only man came on earth without a man and a woman is Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You understand that? Hallelujah. But Jesus was conceived by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because if he was dominated, he couldn't see nobody. But his blood. Hallelujah. And that's why 
in Revelation 5, you will find it. Hallelujah. John says in the book, and the book was sealed with man redemption. And I angel proclaim who is worthy to open the books. Heaven was searched, earth was searched, and hell was searched, but not one man did found on earth. Jesus Christ presents himself as a spotless Lamb of God. Yes. Hallelujah. And died to billion and the safely landed. Billion and the church. And yet there is room for a billion more. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And what I love with Jesus, no cure you can't buy in this world. Books and drugs and all those things don't know who you are. Jesus has the blood. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. the Lord. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. Isaiah saw him in Isaiah chapter 9. Hallelujah. He, he shall be called wonderful counselor. Sometimes you go to counsel and I give you the wrong counsel. But let me tell you, for one of good counsel, see this man. Oh, hallelujah. His name shall be called wonderful counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, and at the increase of His government. Oh, hallelujah. Although a lot of people try to stop the church, but the church cannot be stopped because it was bought by the blood of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Let the church praise the Lord. Let the church praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They tried to kill the church. They ever tried to join it in the Red Sea and Few weeks ago, you hear this woman with a sentence that she around ten thousand people she did put them on the train and send them in the gas chamber and turn on the gas. We for us to try. Hallelujah! Nothing stop the church. Nothing stop a Christian if you have a mind to go forward. I couldn't care what storm want to blow, what hurricane want to blow. You know what the writer said? My hope is built for nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend. Why you want to say about me? That is not important. Hallelujah. Because why you say about me? Can't send me ahead. It's what Jesus said. He got the answer. He got the first word. Hallelujah. Great is our God. And he is greatly to be praised. So when you're praising God, don't hold back. Amen. Young man and young woman in the church today. Amen. Hallelujah. Because there's a lot of people think salvation can't keep you. Nothing of us pray. It's going 60 years now since the Lord saved my soul. 60 years. And here we are. Because he promised that he has kept the fresh fish in the salt water. He will keep you. He can preserve you. Hallelujah. He can lead you and he can guide you. Hallelujah. He's not a friend who will not lead you out of the right way. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who will give you the wrong instruction? He give you the right instruction. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. He's a God, a mighty God. A man that put on the top heaven before we make her. A man that stretched out the earth over our water. Now tell me what. Rich man and earth can do that. Rich man and earth can create sun. He said, let there be light. And there will light. Hallelujah. You know, saints is building they come out light, for they gotta change. But heaven light boy never change. And hallelujah. It come out the right time. The moon shine the right time. The sun will shine the right time. The star come out the right time. Oh, blessed be the name. What a God. What a mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Oh, hallelujah. So those who are Jesus, put down your seatbelt. Hallelujah. We expect some rocky time, but we are more than conqueror to him that loves us. And for I said, not even death, they are separated from the love of God. Because my name is written 
in the book of life. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Let the church praise the Lord. Yes, to my young brother and my young sister, I'm begging you. You got friend now. You got money and got body. The day they come when you won't have nobody. If you haven't got Jesus, you haven't, you haven't got nothing. The furthest mommy and daddy, your friend can go with you to the very room. Hallelujah. But Jesus said, I will go with you to the judgment. Yes. And I will represent you to my father. Amen. And I will say, Father, these are those that come out of great tribulations. They are wrong. Wash their own and make them clean in the blood of the If you're saved, Keep saying. Yes, and if you don't say it, get saved. Yes, you can see the time. Maybe things change. Mm -hmm. It don't make sense to run from England to Jamaica because it's the same problem. And then if you left Jamaica to Canada, it's the same problem. And if you left Canada to the United States of America, it's the same problem. Yes, Let me tell you, it's only Jesus can help these things. Nobody else. We serve a mighty God. Great is our God and great is to be praised. So when I praise him, hallelujah, I know what I am doing. He is worthy to be praised. I am not trying to big enough because he's big enough. Hallelujah. His name is Lord. Nothing death couldn't hold that man down. Hallelujah. They crucify him. They take him off the cross. Hallelujah. And put him in a support and seal it. And set souls at dear to watch. But early on the Sunday morning, he rose triumphantly from death and hell. Not only for himself, but for many. Because that though he preached, that though he rise a day, if there were no resurrection of Jesus, then we would not have a chance. But thank God, Jesus resurrected and gave his life that me and you can be. Don't die and go to hell. Don't. Not, hell never made for man. It was made by the devil and his father in Asia. Yes, it was. See to him. Try your endeavor best. Yes. Seek the Lord while he is near. Call upon him while he may be born. Turn. And if you turn to God, he will return on you. The Lord God Almighty bless you. In Jesus' name. Each day that we get up to be a blessing. And indeed, we thank the Lord. The time is far spent. I'm not going to preach now. Our bishop already gave us. Um, a, a short word, amen. Uh, Just one passage of scripture that I was sitting there, amen. And the thought that came to me was from Saint John, chapter number three, and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life do we know what it means when we say everlasting life something that goes on and on can I give you an example uh, buy a pack of Panasonic batteries and they won't last you that long but buy, spend a little bit more money and buy Duracell they will last you that whole lot further when we say everlasting life it means that it will never ever end our life down here will end and this is sometimes what, what surprises me Minister Ruth is, is the fact is that we, we save our money we, we put our money in banks and stocks and shares, not knowing that when we go, people are going to fight over it. We, 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 we want this big house. We want this uh, lovely car. And we, we buy cars and we, we drive cars that are really lovely and the rims are real good and it looks real wonderful. And as soon as you drive it off of the showroom, it loses thousands of pounds in value. Somebody can just come and just hit the wind mirror when you try to claim off the insurance and they don't even want to pay for the car, they just write it off. All of these things 
house of no value. But here we're talking about everlasting life. My life down here will end. Uh, things will move out of place. I will live in a house and when I'm gone, you will drive past there and I'll no longer be there. Uh, but glory to God. But I'm going to a place where the wicked shall cease from troubling. I'm going to a place where I don't have to worry about uh, high prices. Right now, everybody is quarreling and worrying about things. You go to the supermarket and you can't find things. You go there, you can't find eggs, you can't find sugar, you can't find this. Everything is running out and things are getting stranger and stranger. But yet still, I am heading on home to be with the Lord. There are some requirements and, and people think to yourself, well, well, why, Andre, why do you go to church? Why do you serve God? The reason is because I don't want to be lost. The reason why I live this life is because I want to know that at the end of this life, I have another life. I have another building not made with hands. The preacher spoke this so lovely this morning in the earlier service and he was saying that we are all, Sister Linda, in the process of change. When I really think about it, things that I probably used to do uh, 20 years ago, I can't do it. Now, uh, I've come across people now, and I'm uh, paraphrasing, I've come across people now that they lose their hair, and it's getting, it seems to be getting younger and younger and younger. Uh, and it seems like you get a bit scared of um, gray hairs. And the gray hairs that start to come, and you start to get the, um, the dye. Yeah. You make a mess of your bed pillow and all sorts of things because you're trying to keep up. But you've got to realize that we are all on a journey. And today you are here and you are not sure about tomorrow. You have to make Jesus your choice. The reason why we, we love the Lord is because he loved us first. Why did he love us? Because he was born to love. And he gave his only begotten son. Think about it. How much of us in here? I have one child. And let me tell you something as, as, as irritating as he may be sometimes. I ain't going to give him away for nothing. But yet still God gave us his son. Huh? He gave us his son. Why? That we should not perish. But have life. We think that we're living now. But let me tell you something. We are not living now. After this, there shall be glory. Think of your body right now. Pain and aches. Sometimes you have aches and you don't even know where it comes from. Sometimes we have problems and we don't even know. You just don't even want to go to the doctor anymore because you just don't want to hear what they're going to say. There's always some sort of issue. Your eyes start to go, your ears start to go, your foot start to go, all sorts of different things start to happen. You've got to put our trust in God because we are heading on home. And where we will go, we will be given a new body, a celestial body. You won't need any hearing aid, Mother Yuda. You won't need any stick. Hallelujah. You won't need any glasses because you will be given a celestial Body. A body that cannot be corrupted. A body that will not uh, decay. But it shall go on and on. And we shall reign with Jesus Christ. I encourage each and every one with the sound of my voice. If you don't know him, get to know him. I encourage you, get to know him. And, and, and I think in olden day church, we made getting saved hard. We made getting saved complicated. Because we would tell people, uh, when you get saved, don't do this and don't do that and don't wear this and don't wear that and all that. Let me tell you something, I ain't going to tell you nothing like that. All I'm going to tell you is just come to Jesus. Just come to Jesus. 
If you are weary, if you are worn, if you are sad, you will find in him a resting place and he will make you glad. All you need to do is come to him and cast your cares on him and he will fix it. What I love about that word is cast it, throw it on him. He never just said, put your cares on him. He said, cast your cares. Throw your cares on him and he will take care. Don't care about the shoulders and the coulders and wooders and all of these things. Just come to Jesus and he will fix everything else for you. Let Jesus fix it for you. Our theme today and our thought today is he is beautiful for every situation. And he is the joy of the whole world. We have some situations that we go through, and when we go through them, we get ugly yeah. in those situations. Yeah. Our countenance changes. Yeah. So somebody can look at your legal counter and know when you're vexed. They know when you're happy and they know when you're vexed. Yeah. Sister Julie, they'll look at you and they know. Sister Julie, look hungry. Yeah. They will know when something is wrong, but look at God. He is beautiful for every situation. And he is the joy of the whole earth. I encourage you today yeah. at the starting of this year, we're only day what, day eight? At the starting of this year, the troubles that you had in 2020, 2021, 2022, leave them there. Yeah. Cast your cares on him. Go into this new year with a positive mindset, choosing your company well and wisely, that you can make wise decisions. I can encourage you and in closing, this is the one decision that I can tell you that if you come to Jesus, you will never, ever regret it. I was sitting there and I was saying to my wife, I was saying, people make decisions and even after they've made the decisions and they've gone off the sea, maybe dead and gone, we have to be here still living by those decisions. That's right. That's right. Remember years ago, maybe even before I was born, there was a thing that they, that um, the late Margaret Thatcher brought out called council tax. She's dead and she's gone and we are still left here to pay it. And if you don't pay it, then somebody won't be bringing you some milk or bread and water in prison because they're quick to prison you for counter tax. Yeah, that's right. What I'm trying to say is, it's a decision that she made. She no longer has to do it, but we have to do it. Your decisions that you make will make or break you. And when you make those decisions, when you are gone, then you've got those that are left behind They've got to pay for the decisions that you've made. Make a decision to make Jesus your choice. Because after this, nobody can pull you out of hell and push you into heaven. Nobody can go and beg God pardon for you. You have to answer to God for yourself. As close as I am with my family, as close as I have with my friends, at that day, I can't say, well, my aunt will come, God, and speak for me. My grandma will come and speak for me. No, i got to speak to God for myself. So I encourage each and every one under the sound of my voice this afternoon. Make Jesus your choice. You won't be holy, holy overnight. You won't be all righteous over overnight. It's a step by step yeah. by step program but I encourage you that you just take one step under the fountain filled with blood then I promise you that Jesus will make everything all right clap your hands and give the Lord a praise amen just stand with the Bible. we're going to pray amen we're going to pray after which we will worship with giving our offering. Amen. If you are in this building and you need prayer, amen, we will pray with you and pray for you. 
Our ministers are here to support you. Amen. You can come, we can pray with you, and we can pray for you. You don't have to tell us what is your need, because God already knows your need. But will you come and will you stand at this altar and we will pray and we will cover you under the blood that never loses its power. It reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley. It is the blood that gives us strength from day to day and it shall never lose its power. Let me tell you something. There is nothing that you have done that our God cannot forgive. There is nothing that you have done that our God cannot wipe the slate clean. We sang today, Lord Jesus, I long to be perfectly whole. Wash me that I can be whiter than snow. Is there somebody that needs prayer? We will pray with you. You can come. Amen. Is there somebody? Amen. Is there somebody Thank you for this afternoon? A lovely time in your house, in your presence. Thank you for my brother. Thank you for my sister. Thank you for each and every one, young, those of old, those of the same age. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us that you are indeed beautiful for every situation and you are the joy of the whole world. We lift you up today and we praise your majesty name because you are God and beside you there is no other. Thank you for the word that has been released in this house this afternoon that you are love and you came that we may have life and that we may have it in full of abundance. Thank you for our bishop for taking the journey and being with us today. Thank you for our deacon Carlton for being with us on this afternoon. Thank you for our mothers. Thank you for each and every one. Those that have walked through this door for the very first time. And God, we pray, Lord God, that they have come in, Lord God, that they will leave, but not the same way that they came. And they will return another time. Oh God, and give their life over to you. Father, bless those that stand in this holy, that leap in this holy altar. You know their needs, you know their circumstance, you know their situation, oh God. And we know, God, that you are beautiful for every situation. Turn, oh God, their morning into dancing. Turn their song into joy. Turn their midnight into morning. Give them peace, so oh God, when there is sorrow. Give them joy when there is heartache. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we pray for the day. And the sound of Zion is released. Thank you, Lord God. Oh God, as we are still in the time of consecration. Oh God, thank you for the first eight days. Thank you for this time, Lord God. And we pray, God, that you will continue to pour in us. Create in us a clean heart, oh God. And in you a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from thy presence. Please, God, take not thy Holy Spirit from us, but restore unto us the joy of the salvation. And we knew a right spirit within us. Oh, God, we need you, Lord. Whenever time we need you, we need you right now. The world is confused. The world is in turmoil. The world is in disarray. Oh, God, but here we look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith, the first and the last. The beginning, the middle, and the end. We look to you because you are our God. And beside you, there is none of us. Bless your people everywhere. Bless those that were not able to be here in your house. Oh God, to touch them in your flesh. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we give them the praise. Bless the offering that is about to be gathered from the hands and the hearts of your people. Bless it, oh God, as you go back. Oh God, to do your work here on earth. Oh God, stretch it and send it back to us. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Bless us as we will leave from here and the several places of the board. Bless the food, Lord God, that we will eat, Lord God. And it will give us strength to our body. Take out the impurities we pray. And bless us right now. What we fail of asking, we pray we will fail not to grant it unto us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah.